Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories today, Boston police looking for suspects or a suspect responsible for shooting in Roxbury. It shut down part of Regent Street just before 10. Police say one victim was shot and rushed to the hospital. Homicide detectives are now investigating. A NASCAR driver has died, killed when a small plane crashed in Connecticut. 59-year-old Ted Christopher, a modified championship driver, was on board and was one of the two victims. Their plane went down Saturday afternoon in a wooded area near Guilford, Connecticut. Authorities are not releasing the second person's name or where the plane took off from or was heading. The Ipswich fire chief off the job this morning accused of choking a woman. Gregory Gagnon is now charged with assault and battery. Police say it happened last year, but it came to light after Gagnon was arrested at his Drake at home Thursday, accused of assaulting the same woman. Gagnon's now on paid administrative leave. He's due in court tomorrow. We turn our attention to the weather. Meteorologist Barry Burbank keeping an eye on that fog that's been socked in the area for most of the morning. You bet. A lot of it. It's, it's pea soup, too, Anna Ritis. Good day to you. And here's what's happening. We do have the uh, fog, which is still around. Now, yesterday morning, it looked like it was an easy call that it was going to burn off. Today, I'm getting a little more... Uh, cautious about uh, thinking it's going to clear out quickly because it doesn't seem to be eroding as fast as it was yesterday morning. Nevertheless, on the mountaintops of northern and western New England, it's all bright sunshine, no problems. It's the fog which is here right in the Connecticut River Valley. We had all this fog in eastern Massachusetts. I'm still up. We'll still call for some breaking clouds and sunshine to come through this fog and low clouds, but some areas may not have as much as they did yesterday afternoon when it turned out so beautiful. As far as rain goes, I think this model is not right. I think any showers which form will be out here in the Berkshires for today. So we're hoping for the sunshine this afternoon. If we get it, we'll have temperatures going up into the lower 80s, and then it the, gets all cloudy all over again tonight and may be tough to break out tomorrow. For today, a high surf advisory is up for the New England South Coast, the Connecticut coastline, Rhode Island coastline, and also the Massachusetts coastline over in the Bristol County area, and also the islands for a potential wave building up to six to eight feet during the afternoon. And a rip current uh, danger is certainly there for sure. Hurricane Jose, meantime, has winds of 80 miles per hour and will continue moving north at about eight miles per hour. It's going down the slot between Bermuda and the United States, so just causing some high surf and uh, you know some big breakers crashing on the beaches there. But it looks like it's going to take a northerly track, and it is all dependent upon the curvature. If it moves out, curves start cursing, curving quicker. We don't have much of an impact; just lighter rain and still some wind here on Tuesday and Wednesday. If it takes a little bit longer to do so, and if it stalls, we're going to have more wind and rain than currently anticipated. So certainly, we do have some concerns for the coast for some at least some coastal flooding it may be moderate coastal flooding if this hangs around for a while and it looks like the tides will be high during the uh, noon and midnight at each uh, day so there could be several tide cycles that would be affected by higher than normal tides and some coastal flooding the rain will be materializing on tuesday from that tomorrow rather cloudy with a chance of a couple of showers of mist rain gets heavier later tuesday into wednesday tapers off on thursday so Kind of wet weather coming up, but we do need some rain. Fortunately, we're not going to have hurricane force winds, but we could have winds of 20 to 40 and gusts of 50 to 60 on the south coast if it comes close enough. That's your forecast for now. Anna Ritis. Barry, thank you. I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great Sunday.